So this is the user interface of QTP. We have several options, several menu options. We have options called new. If you click on new, we can make a new test or new function library. You do not need to know about these business component application areas for now. Here, we can open an existing test from the open option. We can also open a function library. We can also do these from the file options. Click on the file for the same. Again, new, open, and etc. So we have shortcuts of everything on this QTP main page, on the top of the QTP user interface. So as you go along learning QTP throughout these videos, you'll be getting a good grasp on all these features and options. We have this icon, for example, right here. This is the object repository icon. You'll work with this a lot. This is the icon, uh, man with the hat, little blue hat. This is the object spy. You'll be working on object spy a lot also. Here, we have the QTP option menu. There are a few things you'll have to know regarding the option menus. Also, most important, one of the most important menu options you have to know is the settings. So here you have the property settings, runtime settings, runtime settings and resources. These are the two options you'll be working with a lot in HP Quick Test Professional. Let's start by making a new test. We can click on new from the shortcut that we just saw and learned about. So it's opening up a new test in HP QTP. Again, this is 11.0 version. This is the widescreen that comes up once we click on new. This is the blank screen that indicates that uh, we're ready for our new test. Now we can start creating our new automation scripts in QTP. We have two separate views. If you notice on the bottom, there is keyword view and expert view. If you click on keyword view, we'll see this option does not have a blank screen, but more like an icon-based user interface. In the basic levels, you will work with the keyword view primarily. But uh, it is important, and we will learn expert view. It was, good to, uh, it was good enough in the past to know keyword view back in the days, but now you need to know expert view. Expert view is where you do all your scripting, all your VB scripting, and you write your scripts in the expert view. So right now, we are in expert view. Let's start by recording a new test. Here we have the record option. We have the same option in the automation menu, or F3. And we will use the record shortcut to begin to record a new test and see the automation. Let's do that. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, I click on record. Then I can click on OK. There are a few options that come up before it starts. So uh, record and run test on any open browser. For now, we'll keep this the default option on recording. 
So we go ahead and click OK. Now whatever task I perform from now on, a quick test professional, QTP will record it. All the mouse clicks, all the uh, keystrokes, entering text, all these parts will be recorded by QTP. And once I'm in the recording mode, let me open up a new browser. I'll double click on Internet Explorer. It should open up a new browser. Great, here we go. You can see that a new browser was opened up. Let's go back to QTP and see what happened there. All right, and now we can see that in the expert view, a code got generated. It was a blank screen before, but now we can see something got written in that blank screen. That means QTP recorded my hand task and it created a script for that. Now, again, this is, a, this is VB script, Visual Basic. This is the code for opening up a browser on my machine by double clicking on Internet Explorer. Let's go ahead and perform a couple more tasks. Let's let's begin by navigating to facebook.com that we already explored earlier. So facebook.com So my browser just navigated to Facebook. If I go back to QTP now, I will see three different codes were generated. We can see that it recorded my further actions. It clicked on that browser. It navigated to Facebook. Then it clicked the OK button that you saw me click just a moment ago. Let's quickly go back and enter some text. Enter it into the email box and the password box. So, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Click on the login button and click on yes. And close the browser. Now I stop the recording by hitting this stop shortcut and QTP will stop recording my instructions. So I click on stop and now whatever I do, Quick Test Professional will not be recording it anymore because it is no longer in recording mode. So here we can see that a bunch of codes were generated. We can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 lines of code got generated for opening a browser, navigating to facebook.com, entering email, password, click on login. So we will be exploring this code in detail to understand what is happening in each step of this code. Before we do that, we will run this script and just see what happens. We can see that this run option is a shortcut for run. Click it and then click on OK. What will happen is QTP will play back whatever we have just recorded. QTP will copy what we performed and QTP will do the same by playing back what happened, each of my keystrokes and mouse clicks. Let's click OK and see what happens. As we can see, it just opened a new browser. 
And now it navigated to facebook.com. Again, I'm not doing anything. It is doing it by itself. It is automated. So it navigated to facebook.com. Now it should be closing the browser, but let's see. Okay. It is looking for the yes dialog box that was here before. It did not find that yes dialog box, so it waited for a while before it still closes the browser. So it closed the browser, and whatever I just did, it copied my actions and performed those same options. So now, recording and playback are not exactly a good practice all the time. Uh, even if a minor change comes into your application, then your record and playback will record will work fine, but playback will fail because of those small changes. It is a good practice to write the code yourself instead of letting Quick Test Professional write it for you. So. And again, this is just a basic record and playback, and we have created the first script with record and playback of Quick Test Professional. Um, in the next video, we'll begin exploring these codes and understanding what exactly these codes are performing on each step, what the actual actions are. Thank you.